everyone, Eric Powers along with you on the Lancers Coaches Show as we get you all set for this Friday night's football game against the Mecklenburg County Phoenix on the road once again in good old Baskerville, Virginia. And uh, if you're not going to make the trip, you know where to find us, LancersBroadcastNetwork.com. We'll just throw that out there, a little quick tag for you. In the meantime, we're joined by Coach Chris Moore here, and uh, we're going to do the Lancers Recap, which is brought to you by Cooper Steel. We want to thank Cooper Steel for sponsoring the Lancers Recap. And uh, Coach, let's look back at that loss to GW 24-12 to open the season last Friday night, and uh, just your overall thoughts on it, uh, just right off the top of your head. Yeah, I mean, I thought uh, there were, uh, well, one, I think we, we made a lot of fixable mistakes, if you will. Uh, you know, we had bad field position. We had opportunities to get it out of that bad field position, but we had a legal motion penalty or one of the receivers moving or we had a false start. And it was uh, it was just uh, sloppy you know, from a discipline perspective. So we got to eliminate those. I think we had eight penalties total um, on the evening, way too many. Uh, and they were throwing plenty of them on both sides, but we've, we've got those are correctable mistakes, and we need to get lined up and do that. And then I think the flow of the game, I think, is a little bit different uh, as we look at it. And then we had shots. Um, in there, you know, big fourth down uh, in the third quarter, I, I believe it was late in the third, uh, big third down or fourth down, excuse me, and uh, we just miss it right off the fingertips and um, then we had a big shot to Devante right off the fingertips and so there was, uh, I call them the inches and the inches were there um, and we didn't make it and so we've got to hit those shots um, to, in order to win and, and GW's a great opponent um, you know, last year, uh, you know, we picked them all four times and that was the way we kind of found a way to win uh, this year, they didn't, they didn't throw the ball as much. They, you know, they, they grounded and pounded, and we played better defense overall. We even had the turnover for a score, which is A-plus by Kenny Thompson. Uh, but we've got to hit our shots when they matter the most. You mentioned the defense just a little bit. We talked a little bit, a lot about this last year, and that's finding that groove as far as stopping very good rushing attacks. What did y'all work on this week as far as practice is concerned? and making sure you can shut those running attacks down. Yeah, we really worked a, a lot on condensing space. And so, obviously, offenses are trying to create space for you know big, big quarterback to run through or their slow, little slash running back. Um, and so we really worked on condensing the space. And I thought our defense actually did a really good job, uh, for the most part, controlling that, having better edges than we had last year. Uh, so I thought there was a lot of uh, productivity there. Uh, we still got to do a better job reading our keys a little bit faster at linebacker, but our D line I thought really understood gaps and fits and things like that um, throughout last week. And so um, you know, even looking forward to this week, it's going to be the same kind of offense, if you will, very similar uh, set. So we get another opportunity to really work on our fits um, and fitting these plays up well. All right, uh, not the best way to start a season, but you don't feel overall that you guys were missing it by that much. No, I don't think we missed the mark by, by very much. I mean, we're, again, two inches away, you know, from a different ball game. You know, who knows what would happen either way, but uh, it's a different ball game. And, we, and I didn't mention the, the uh, offsides penalty on the field goal that led to a score. And so that would, you know, still been an eight-point game at that time. And uh, we might only have to hit one shot, you know, in a two-pointer. Or, or, uh, so so I, think, I think we're close. Um, again, it was a good football team. And so I think we're close, but we've got to clean up those mistakes, uh, play disciplined football this week to go down to Mecklenburg and get away. All right, Coach. We appreciate it. Uh, Lancers recap for you brought to you by Cooper Steele. We'll have more for you here in just a moment. Stick around. Back here on the Lancers Coaches Show, we have made our way up to the segment we call our Players of the Game, brought to you by Kenzie Gardner, your State Farm agent in Madison Heights. And uh, let me introduce Going down the line here, we've got uh, Antonio, or Antonio Parrish is right there. AJ is right here. Benaya is over there. Everybody good? Yeah, yeah. A little nervous, right? Yeah. Okay, that's all right. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll try and uh, help with that nervousness as much as we can. Good plays against GW last week. Tough team to, to open up with. And uh, uh, we'll start with you, Benaya, since you're way down there on the end. What were your overall impressions of the football game? Uh, could have played better. We definitely did on defense just couldn't get the ball moving. So that's the basics of it. And that's what we saw as well when we were up in the radio booth. But uh, I kind of agree with you. Gotta, gotta agree with you. Um, Antonio took a year off. You're back. You're ready to play some football and you're playing it well so far, my friend. And uh, congratulations on a great game last week. All right. Your approach and coming back. 
this year and your approach to, to playing in the ball game on Friday nights. Where do you begin up here? Uh, mainly it's just going back to what I used to love and like getting back into it. I enjoy it. I just took the year off just to you know, see if I loved it or not. And I found that I did, so that's why I came back. Hand me the ball and we go hit some baskets. So that's pretty much it, right? Yeah. All right, AJ, good game Thank you. on Friday night. Appreciate you being with us on this one. And um, tell me about your impressions of the ball game and uh, tell me about what is it that makes it special to be out there with your teammates and being out there and actually this is it. This is a real ball game. Let's get out there and let's play. So my impression of the game, just like when I was saying, um, we really just needed to start getting the ball moving. We got it moving on one drive and we got really far down the field and halfway through we just stopped, you know. And uh, I'm not exactly sure the reason for that, but you know, we if we can stay consistent with the ball getting moved, then we'll have a ball game. All right, one more time. You're on Friday night. Do you have superstition? What does that mean? Do you, do you have something you have to do before you go out on that football field? Strap up. I'm telling you, no, nothing in particular. Take a nap. Take a nap. I like that one. Actually, that works. Um, with me, I really find that um, praying while I'm on the bus, while I'm on the way there, for the not just me, for the whole team, to have a great game and play the play the best that we can, really helps me get in that good mind space. Yeah. Solid guys, thank you, appreciate it. We had uh, Benaiah Williams, we had Antonio Parrish, we had AJ Thomas here as our players of the game. Brought to you by Kim Z Gardner. Your State Farm agent in Madison Heights. More to come. Stay tuned. We good? Mm hmm. All right. Welcome back to the Lancers Coaching Show. Eric Towers along with you as uh, we are getting ready to look ahead now to uh, this week's matchup. And uh, we'll talk some more as well with Coach Moore. And uh, the look ahead is brought to you by Mark Tomlin. Keller Williams Realty and Blue Ridge Realty Co Company, and uh, we appreciate that support for this segment of the Lancers Coaches Show. And uh, before we do look ahead to Mecklenburg County uh, for this coming Friday night, let's talk a little bit with Matt Snyder, offensive line coach for the Amherst County Lancers, Amherst County graduate, 2005. Um, I'm also an Amherst County graduate, Matt, but I'm a little Further back. Further back. Excellent, excellent. Uh, tell me how it means being back and uh, how things are going for you. Uh, it, it means everything to be back. Um, very, very happy that the war brought my family and I back here. Um, we've got three sons. Um, my wife is a teacher. I'm a teacher. Um, we are, our three boys are in the school system, and it's, it's kind of like a dream come true. You know, when I was younger, I always dreamed about raising my family here, um, being a teacher here, becoming a football coach. And now that I have the opportunity to be back, it's a true blessing. Talk about your role, if you will, as a coach within the program right now. Well, right now, you know, being my first season, uh, I'm learning the ropes, getting a good feel for the, the players, the coaches. Um, luckily, the culture still feels the same, that, that, that excitement that you get on Friday mornings, just, uh, you know, getting ready to suit up and, and, and uh, go to battle with the, the guys on the gridiron, you know, that's still here and it's still alive. Um, I'm, I'm coaching the offensive line, and I'm working some of the outside linebackers, and uh, just really enjoying uh, being a part of this culture. How would you describe your approach to coaching these guys? Well, uh, when I first got here, you know, I was a little quieter. I wanted to get to know everybody. I wanted to um, just kind of get an understanding for the, the, the vibe and the in and outs of uh, the way that they operate. And um, you know, they, everybody's been really welcoming, especially the players. Um, so I, I feel like at this point, even you know, just going into week three, um, I've already got a solid relationship with a lot of the guys. Um, there's a lot of mutual respect. Um, but but I want to I want to coach them hard. And um, you know, Coach Moore always talks about you know increasing those stress levels uh, during practice so that when uh, the game time comes, they're ready to perform and they're more comfortable against that stress. So. Um, definitely trying to bring a high level of, of intensity to practice and uh, hopefully sharpening up my mind as well so we can coach a, a smarter generation of football players. 
Well, it's good to have you back. Great to be back. And uh, I, I, there's a very distinct possibility at some point or another I thought your name was right. <laughs> That's, well, that's, that's, that's awesome. That's, that's, well, a little known fact, Matt played offensive line with me, but he was also our punter. So he was <laughs> all, you don't see O-line slash punter very often, but Matt, Matt filled those, that role very well. It's a rare skill set. <laughs> <laughs> rare well, breed. Hang, right. hang, hang with us here for a minute while we talk about Blackland. So if you've got something to throw in, throw it in. Sure. Don't be bad. <laughs> Coach Moore, it is Blackland Burke County this week, and uh, 2-0 and right now and playing pretty good football at this point. They are. I mean, they're a lot, uh, I would say, very much improved from last year. They had some good pieces last year. They're back again this year. Uh, you're older, and they just won a big game against Hopewell last week. Um, that was a very good game. I normally watch the cut-ups, but I'll probably watch them, you know, as the week goes on. I kind of sit down and uh, watch them front to back, if you will. And so it was a very good game, and uh, they got some exciting playmakers, number 12, number 3 on offense, number 1. Uh, he's a big kid. He plays tight end, running back, quarterback, direct snap plays linebacker for them. They got some really good players, so I'm excited for this. I think it's going to be a really good matchup on the road. They had a battle for quarterback during the offseason. Jackson Gray came out kind of the winner, if you will, mm -hmm. and he has performed well so far. What do you got to do with that kid? Uh, he, I mean, we've got to uh, make him uncomfortable. And so they got a really good offensive line in front of them. They, their left guard, left tackle, I think, uh, you know, left tackle 6'6", 270. Left guard is 53. He's a really good player. Physical, he's 6'4", 250. On the right tackle, 6'5", you know, they got some big guys. I think they're very, very uh, similar to GW, the GW team we just faced uh, last week in, a lot, in many ways. And so athletic guys on the edges, big guys up front. So we've got to do our best job in creating some pressure for him um, and get him before they get going a little bit. What have you seen on film as far as their speed is concerned? Well, number 12 is definitely, I think, the shiftiest guy uh, we've probably seen so far. Um, he's done a good job in the return game as well as at slot. They'll give him some uh, jet sweeps. Uh, they're throwing some screen passes, and he has a unique ability, very much like Devontae does, to elude uh, defenders. And uh, so he's very shifty, very really good player. Um, number three has good downfield speed. Um, so we've got to really do a good job, whether we press him at the line or whether we disrupt his routes in different ways. Um, we've got to do a really good job with that. So basically the key is here, just keep up with him, right? <laughs> That's it. It's, yeah, it's going to be a challenge. I, mean, we got, we, I thought we played better defense last week at GW. Like, uh, uh, we spoke earlier about, uh, but it's, uh, you know, I think we still continue to put those things together, and uh, it's going to come down to the small things that we missed out on against UW this week, protecting the football, making our like, making our shots. When you're going against a good football team, you got to hit your shots, and we didn't hit our shots last week, so this week presents a great opportunity to hit those shots in those critical moments so we can come out on top. All right, man, anything there? Yeah, I, I mean, just to piggyback on what Coach said, you know, they're, they're fast, they're physical, um, they mirror GW in a lot of ways. I feel like they have great closing speed on defense. So it's going to be really important for us to make sure we're, uh, we're firing off the ball offensively and playing a smart Amherst brand of football. Play your keys. Absolutely. Play your keys. I All wish right. it was that easy. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I understand. All right. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. And uh, we want to thank all of our sponsors real quick. Cooper Steel, State Farm, H&M Madison, Ice nice Kim Z. She likes me to do it that way. Kim yeah. Z, Gardner. And also Mark Conlon Realty. We appreciate the, all of our sponsors for joining us here on the Lancers Coaches Show, and we'll see you next week.